What's going on guys, Matthew Modis here, and this is the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. I'm sure tons of you have heard about it already. A thousand YouTube videos went up over the weekend talking about how amazing this smartphone is. Well, I'm gonna reserve my judgment for the full review. I think a lot of people are overhyping it, and I think you need to take the time, use it first, before giving an opinion. With that being said, I did ask you guys on YouTube and on my Discord server to submit your questions about this device, and I'm gonna answer all of them right now. The first question comes from a name I cannot pronounce, and he asks, does the cooling system really help gaming performance get better? That's a great question. As you guys know, the Galaxy Note 9 has a liquid cooling system and a heat pipe that's three times the size of the one that's in the Galaxy Note 8. Now, I haven't personally tested this, but there's a great article by Tom's Guide that decided to test both devices playing various games, different temperature settings, to see if the cooling system made a difference. Now, the result of that test was basically no. It didn't make a difference in terms of temperatures. But the one thing they failed to mention is what were the CPU speeds when both phones were under load. So for example, if the Galaxy Note 8 is the same temperature as the Galaxy Note 9, but is running at a slower speed, then technically, the Galaxy Note 9 is being liquid cooled to provide a faster pace over the Galaxy Note 8, even though they're the same temperature. The next question comes from High First Gaming One. Is this thing overpriced? It really depends on your situation. If you're a Galaxy Note fanboy or you're a Galaxy Note user and you use that S Pen as religiously as you possibly can, then no, it's not overpriced. But if you don't use the S Pen that often, and it's something you don't see yourself using, then you're better off buying the Galaxy S9 Plus. The specs are pretty much the same. The camera is pretty much the same. The only thing you're really losing is battery life and S Pen functionality. The next question comes from Mushtaba Hussein. Does it fit in your pocket? Well, let's find out. There you go. It fits in my pocket. It's big. People are gonna think I'm excited all the time, but it does fit in my pocket. The next question is from Angel Snow. Coming from an S8 Plus, is it worth an upgrade? So the things you'll see from the S8 Plus is obviously slightly faster performance, better battery life, the camera improvements won't be that insane. I personally think you should wait for the S10 Plus before making your decision because your phone is still fine. The next question is from Jabber OV1. Thoughts on the camera and battery life? So the camera is pretty much the exact same thing as the Galaxy S9 Plus. You're not gonna see a difference in terms of hardware that's inside of here. The only difference is that you get a new optimizer or an AI enhancer with the Galaxy Note 9. So if you take a picture of flowers, the phone detects it, it will enhance those colors, giving it a slight contrast boost. But in terms of camera technology, they're pretty much the exact same thing. Jabber OV1 also asks, how do you think the camera is going to stack up against the XZ2 Premium? Well, I'm glad you asked. I have the XZ2 Premium right here, the Galaxy Note 9 right here. I'm definitely going to be comparing these two against each other, so stay tuned for that. The next question comes from Utkarsh00711. Should I upgrade from the S9 Plus to the Note 9? Definitely not. You won't see any difference except for better battery life. Jacob J1 asks, besides the price, is this daily driver material? I think so. If you don't mind having a big phone, then yes, definitely daily driver material. It has the specs, it, it has the battery life, a good camera, it's waterproof, water resistant, no notch, headphone jack, amazing speakers. It has everything you want in a smartphone as long as you're okay with a big device. Next question comes from a name I cannot pronounce again. Hey Matt, do you think the 512 gigabyte storage is really necessary this time in 2018 or even maybe in early 2019? Seems like there are more and more companies out there making phones with huge storage, but if storage is really needed, wouldn't it be better just to get an SD card? So here's the thing. I don't mind SD cards if you're just storing like some music and stuff, but SD cards are not nearly as fast and fluent as actually having a SSD drive inside of your phone. Next question comes from Drof Shiv1. Overhype, underrated, or predictable? Definitely overhyped. I'll talk about that in another video. I don't think it's underrated, and I definitely think it's predictable. We could kind of see exactly what the Note 9 was going to be based on the links, and we kind of knew it was going to be a bigger, better Galaxy Note 8. Next question comes from Orso Berto One. How fast is the fingerprint sensor? Super fast. Here, here's an example. Huh? You see that? So the last two questions come from NC on my Discord server. The first question is, do you trust the Note 9 when they advertise a bigger battery? Because that's what they did with the Note 7 and you know what happened. 
Yes, that's a great question. I think a lot of people who had the Note 7 or were thinking about buying a Note 8 are still concerned about battery having issues. To be honest, I don't think that's gonna be an issue at all. Samsung has learned its lesson from the past and I'm pretty sure they've triple checked, they've brought this to third parties to make sure that there'll never ever be another battery situation like that again. Last question is also from NC. Is there a significant difference speed-wise from last year's model, the Galaxy Note 8? Well, based on the 24 hours I've been using it, it definitely feels a lot snappier. Also, my Galaxy Note 8 after about eight or nine months started to slow down a little bit. But the good news is the Galaxy S9 Plus, which I use quite a bit, is still as fast the day I got it. So I finally think Samsung did a good job of getting rid of that Samsung lag. So that pretty much wraps up this video on the Q&A for the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Stay tuned! for the full review, a bunch of camera comparisons in the near future. If you have any questions, hit me up on Discord. Link will be in the description down below. Follow me on Instagram for some behind the scenes. Like the video if you liked it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.